Hello and welcome back everybody to the way we all go. Alright, so we are eating ice with Amu, I suppose. Yes. Yay, ice cream! Oh, God damn it, my mouse. I have to put it somewhere else. It's always falling down when I take my controller. These fucking cables, you know, these fucking cables. Too many, too long, just doesn't work out. Anyway, Amu claps her hands together delightedly, just like a little kid. Even though Amu doesn't like sweets too much, she does like ice cream. I feel proud of myself for my remembering that. Man, it's like two years. It's not like you were gone forever. Ah, oh, well. Good job, me. You made the right choice. Thank you, Achan. Thank you. You're going to pay for me, right? Actually, on second thought, what are you talking about? You are the one with the job, aren't you? That's irrelevant. But you have more money than I do. The amount of money doesn't matter. No guy would invite a girl out to ice cream, then make her pay for her own share. That's so cheap. Hey, I'm not taking you out on a date or anything. We're just friends. Exactly. We're such good friends that you'll pay for my ice cream. Oh well. Go on, Achan. Please. Please, please, pretty please. I'll be your best friend. <laughs> I thought we were already friends. We are, but, you know, better friends. And what does that uh, uh, come on? Oh, well. Mm, well, yeah, I mean, it's a romance visual novel. What do I expect? Ah, it means I won't make fun of your hate for the rest of the trip here. Amos' definition of friendship really is something. Of course we buy her an ice cream. But now I have to get my mouse from my bottom. From the bottom of my floor is what I wanted to say. Yes, of course we buy her an ice cream. Yay, a little heart. I mean, I would even do that for someone who wasn't... Uh, I wasn't... Interested in... You know what I mean? That wasn't a love interest, you know? I mean, you were gone for like forever. Why not invite her? I don't see the reason. And so, as, as might be expected, I caved in. Yay! This is really delicious. Thank you, Achan. Uh, it's no problem. And you even remembered my favorite flower flavor. Flower. I didn't even need to say. Of course I remember. How could I forget? The reason I remembered Amu's favorite flavor of ice cream isn't because we have such an incredibly deep bond of friendship. It can never be severe, no matter what. Of course we have... Oh, we have such an... I was already wondering. <laughs> it's nothing as sentimental as that. What? No. Okay, I definitely got something wrong. Wait, give me a second. No, no, no. After, I, isn't because we have such an incredibly... No, 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 no. Okay. So I got it right the first time and the second time I got it wrong. The real reason I remembered, it, remembered is because I always thought a favorite flavor of ice cream was really weird. I mean, green tea? Really? That's the kind of ice cream you'd expect an elegant lady to favor. Not an... an... Mmm... So good. Not an Amu. H hey, be careful. You're getting it everywhere. Hmm? Why are you part of fun? And don't talk with your mouth full. That's disgusting. It's just a sign I'm enjoying it more, Grandma. I'm not like you, who ate the whole cone in like five minutes. That's because I was being sensible. I didn't want it to melt on me. Why well, that's so boring. Who wants to be sensible? Don't answer back. Look, you're getting ice cream all over. Right, come here. Hmm? I move in, uh, I move in a little closer until our legs are brushing. Then I take a few paper tissues from my pocket. There's no harm in being prepared. I always have paper tissues with me. Just... I mean, it's always useful, you know, and start to dab at her face. Amo wriggles in discontent and pulls a face, but I'm res relentless. I scrub at her face until it's sparkling clean, no longer smeared with cold, gooey mess. It's always been this way between us. Amo is the active one who gets into scrapes, while I hang behind to clean her up, taking care of her cuts and bruises. I think it's because of my close friendship with Amu that I got into the habit of carrying tissues with me to begin with. Hmm. Killjoy. 
Amu pouts, taking another lick of her ice cream. I just want you to look presentable. You're not my mom, and I'm not going to attend a marriage meeting. You don't need to be so fussy. It's in my nature to fuss. If you don't want me to get concerned, you shouldn't act so childish. Blah. Ah, that's, uh, that's okay. <laughs> Amu sticks out her tongue. There's a glob of green ice cream sitting on it, dissolving slowly. Ew, that's gross. Hmm. Amu turns her head away and continues eating, taking a few more minutes to finish off her ice cream. This time, however, she is slightly more careful and is able to finish the job without getting dirty again. I almost feel like I should applaud her for that. She probably made quite the effort there. Still. Yeah. Um, before we get to the romantic scene, let me say that this was so, so much cliche that I'm cringing. Now, I hate being critical right at the beginning, but that was so over the top. I mean, I didn't like it. Oh well, Amo leans back against the bench, staring up at the blue sky. Life in this small town continues around us as always. And yet right now, for some reason, this moment feels strangely special. Intimate, maybe. I forgot how much you used to worry about me. Getting so much attention feels kinda nice. You just like being taken care of. Maybe a little. It reminded me of when we were kids. Amo turns to look at me. There's a small smile on her face. You haven't pampered me since so long. Not since she came. Isn't that right? Hmm. Well, now it gets interesting. Nah. I pause, suddenly hesitant. Of course, we all know who she, who she is talking about, you know, but... Uh... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Now, that's actually interesting. So, this is um, his old love. Well, not really love. But his childhood friend, you know. And usually in anime, the childhood friend is doomed, you know. Doomed to being a friend forever. Mm. Of course, I can decide differently. But I wonder if the game hates me for... If I, in the end, end up with Amu or something. If the game hates me for that. You know, I get a bad ending or something. Because I didn't care for the one I didn't confess to or whatever I did not tell her. You know the other girl, I forgot the name, Noel? Was it Noel? Yeah, I think it was Noel. Oh, well, I'm speculating again. I guess we are in the first two hours of the game, so I probably shouldn't... Shouldn't think about that as of now. I know what she's talking about, of course I do, but I had assumed... Stupidly, I had assumed Amu wouldn't talk about her. After all, she never mentioned her in her letters. I thought being with Amu would be safe. I wouldn't have to think, I mean we were at her house, well, well. And I wouldn't have to remember. I wouldn't have to feel guilty. What? Tell Amu to stop about talking about that, what's that about? Uh, uh, up till now, the, the decisions are really uh, obvious, at least to me. Kinda of obvious. Ask Amu how Noel is. Hey Amu. Hmm? What is it? Well, she's probably not too happy about it, I suppose, but you know. Who wouldn't ask? Really, who wouldn't ask? And I'm not playing this game to end with a special girl. First of all, I don't know the girls yet. And second of all, I always play games like I would decide personally. I don't try to end up or with a special ending or something. But I play it like it is real life. I shift, linking my hands together on my lap. It takes me a while to form any words. I've been worrying about it all day. Of course, I wouldn't say that, but it's difficult to actually say it. Huh? What are you talking about, Achan? That is dumb. She will be angry with you. It's just, I mean, it's stupid, isn't it? I can't know that until you tell me. Knowing you though, it probably is. I let Amos come and slide. I know she's just trying to lighten the mood. I mean, I... It's just... I've wanted to talk about it all day. Oh, Jesus, that is not what I have decided. I have nothing to do what he is saying. Now that I can, suddenly I don't want to. 
But that doesn't make any sense, does it? Well, I guess not. If you want to talk about something, you should talk about it. Otherwise, I won't be able to understand you. Now, if we would have the decision between talk about Noel, not talk about Noel, but it said forbid her or something like this, forbid her to talk about Noel. What? What is that about? That's dumb. That's what I thought. All right, I'm. I hate stupid stuff. That is stupid stuff. Yeah, it's just common sense. You're acting kind of slow today, Achan. What am I gonna do with you, seriously? Amo giggles. Even though the atmosphere is heavy, I'm kind of glad for it. I guess it's being ha it's hard being too melancholy with Amu around. Even though you act rude, you really are a nice, nice person, aren't you? Ha! <laughs> oh well. Um, um, I don't know about that. Amu flushes, turning her head red, uh, turning her head away. Is she embarrassed? That's kind of unexpected. Knowing Amu. I thought she'd brush a sappy comment like that away with a laugh, a slap to my back, or maybe a joke about how I'm getting sentinel in my old age. Amu pouts. You're thinking that I'm strange or something, aren't you? No. Well, um... Uh, Amu's gaze remains pointed. I relent. I can't keep anything from her. <laughs> how do you know? Because I've known you for a long time, stupid. I can see it written all over your face. Instinctively, I try to hide my face with my hands. What? You have strange instincts, boy. At least Amo seems to find my reaction funny, because she starts to giggle. But anyway, Achan, what do you want? If you have a question to ask, you should ask it now, or you might regret it later. Yeah, that's a good point. I was just wondering. Um, I went to her house earlier today. Oh! So we couldn't even have made this decision if we weren't to her house, I suppose. No else. Huh? There's a small pause. It takes Amo a few moments to regain her composure. What do you mean, house? Don't you think palace would be more fitting? <laughs> Noel's home isn't that big, really. Says the city boy. I remember what it was being built. My dad was going nuts over it, saying it would tarnish the historical value of our village or something. It's a nice house. Well, you would know that better than me. You've been there more than I have. It's not hard to, that hard to improve on my record, though, given I've never been invited over once. Oh. Is it just me, or... Yeah, that sounded kind of sore. Yeah, <laughs> is there a note of bitterness or two, Armourstone? So did you see the little princess? No, I didn't see her. She wasn't at home. Oh, that's a shame. I think she would have liked to see you. Are you sure? After what I did? Of course. She was your best friend, you know. Anyone with half a functioning brain could tell she really liked you. Uh, but I... It's been two years and I haven't spoken to her at all since then, so... Don't worry about it, silly. You didn't do anything really horrible, and I do understand. It was difficult for you. It was probably more difficult for her. Amo shrugs. Maybe. I don't know. I can never tell what she is thinking. And it's not like she ever talks to me anyway. She's just shy. I know. But you're kind of shy too, and I don't mind being with you. You're fun to tease. Is, is that why you like me so much? Who knows? Maybe. But with Noelle? She seems far too delicate to poke fun at. Like, it would really upset her. And if I can't joke around with people, I don't know how to, how to talk to them. So, uh, after I left, did Noel not talk to anyone? Amu ponders, directing her gaze towards the sky. No, I don't think so. Not after you left. She was all on her own? I guess, but... She always seemed so hard to approach, you know? So distant. I didn't know where to begin. I wonder if I should feel annoyed at Amu for not making an effort to be Noelle's friend, but it's not like I can't understand what she means. Noelle can be a difficult person. Besides, it's not like Amu has any kind of duty to be Noelle's friend. If she became Noelle's friend purely out of pity or a sense of obligation, that would probably end up as quite a depressing relationship. I don't think it would make either of them happy. Maybe it was inevitable. Then that after I left, 
Oh, it was inevitable then that after I left, Noelle would end up alone. She never showed any interest in talking to anybody other than me. That's quite a strange person, you know. But okay. Huh. Maybe that explains it then. That explains what? Well, I was just wondering. The thing I was thinking about earlier that I wanted to ask you. I noticed that Noel's house is up for sale. Huh? It is? Yeah. I was hoping you might know the reason why, since your parents are... Always sticking their noses into other people's business. Yeah. But no, I haven't heard a thing. Maybe it happened recently. If it was old news, I'm sure my parents would have mentioned it already. My dad can't keep his mouth shut about the latest village gossip. I guess this is a mystery that is going to go unsolved then. It's hardly a big mystery. A lot of people have been leaving the village lately. It kinda seems like a waste though. A waste? Yeah. That house, the Sakatas have must have been expensive. The ho that house, the... As the Sakatas have, must have been expensive. Okay. I can't imagine they're going to make much of a profit on it. Nobody's moving into the village either. Nah. The house left by the old families are still empty. Cause there are no jobs here. Nobody's coming in. Most of the people left in the village are old people who have retired. Not families with children. It gets really boring sometimes, you know. Then maybe that's why. Maybe the Sakatas are moving because Noelle hasn't made any new friends at school. Maybe she's lonely. I guess that could be it, but I don't know. I think it's more likely her parents just got sick of commuting so far to work. So you don't think this is a big deal? I doubt it. I think you're just worrying about nothing, as usual, Achan. Yeah, no. As these games usually go, it is a big deal. That's probably true. Achan, what is it? Why are you so worried anyway? Huh? What do you mean? I mean, well, isn't a child, you know. I'm sure she can take care of herself. I... I know that, but... Amu cuts me off before I can finish. Maybe that's a good thing. I wasn't sure what I was going to say anyway. If you keep fussing over her, isn't that kind of rude? Like you're saying you don't think she can take care of herself? True. At least to a great part true. I mean, it's not a bad thing trying to um, integrate shy people into a community and stuff. But, um, you know, let everyone do what he wants. In the end, you're not their boss. You know what I mean? I wonder, though, why didn't um, Achan, I already forget his real name, why didn't our protagonist um, try to bring her into a group or something? You know, that when he is gone, she has some other people she can communicate with and stuff. That's what I would have done. I would have tried to make her good friends with my friends. But I suppose there is a reason that didn't happen, so we'll find out. Aren't friends supposed to trust one another? Uh, I hadn't thought of it that way before, but... Maybe Amu has a point. People don't like being looked down on, that's true. I know I don't, and it's something that happens frequently, both literally and figuratively. And as a figure of speech, people are always assuming I'm younger than I am. Uh, excuse me. I've been stopped more than a few times by police officers when going out to the convenience store in the evening. They always ask the same questions. How I am, what I'm doing, where my parents are. I know they mean well, but that kind of thing can start to get irritating after a while. Not to mention disparating. Now, I don't know what it's like in uh, Japan, but uh, I don't think a, a police officer would... Well, not in the evening. Maybe when it's really, like, night or something, but in the evening? Oh, well. Am I fussing over Noelle? Because I want to feel superior to her? The mature and responsible one? Is that really it? I don't know. I can't help but worry about her. Maybe I shouldn't worry so much. Yeah, that's the better decision. Well, maybe you're right. I have the feeling, as the game... The way the game goes, I have the feeling it has a point system, you know? It has three endings. 
So maybe I get a few points for Amu, a few points for um, Noel, and a few points for fucking up entirely. Or maybe a few points for the girl um, that is uh, in the city that I phoned with. Maybe, I don't know. But uh, in the moment it seems like that. Well, we'll see about that. Well, maybe you're all right. Maybe I shouldn't worry so much. That's right. You should have more faith in your friends. I suppose. There are some things people need to work out on their own. And Noelle is quite a secretive person, so... You mean, if I tried to help her, I'd just get in the way? I don't know. Maybe. It's not really my place to say. I guess I was just looking at things from my point of view. I know if I was in the same situation, it's what I think. But you'd never be in that situation. You're a strong person. You really think so? Of course. Stronger than I am. Um, <laughs> well... It isn't hard being stronger than you, Achan. <laughs> hey, that was unnecessary. You didn't need to hit me. Sorry, sorry. But if you're still worried, there's no need to be, you know. I know? Mm hmm. You really are being silly, Achan. I think if you really want to talk to now, you should just go to do it. Yeah, it even says Achan in his, na in his name thingy. You see, in the little... Thing above the text, it says Achan. Oh well, maybe it doesn't have another name. Of course. If you don't want to know whether she still likes you or not, and if you don't want to know how she's feeling, then all you need to do is ask. That's not so hard, right? Probably it's not that easy. Judging by the fact we talked about her up till now, she probably is not flat out with her feelings. But okay. You really think it is that easy? I know it is, silly. Stop overthinking things and make a big deal about nothing. You'll give yourself an ulcer, ulcer, whatever that is. You're starting to sound like my mother. While well, somebody has to take care of you when you get all worked up. Huh, <laughs> thanks. No problem. I like being with you. It's fun. And speaking of fun, let's go and have some right now. I'm tired of sitting around here. Uh, okay, but what would you recommend? I know. I know. Getting to her feet, she turns and offers me her hand. Okay, since you haven't been here for a while, stranger, how about a tour around this town? You mean you want to go shopping? Why, it's almost like you can read my mind. Oh, in a bookstore. Oh. Oh, uh, that's her. Whoops. Oh, I can't believe they have the next volume of this out already. Hey, be careful with that. I eye Amu with concern, in the same way a mother might fuss over a particularly spirited child. Amu stands in a corner of the bookstore, flipping through the pristine pages of a brand new manga. Ah, okay, they are reading mangas, but still, it's a bookstore, I'm okay with that. With such speed, I'm worried she'll she increase them. I did wonder why she wanted to drag me to a bookstore of all places, given she isn't one for reading a lot, but now I know why. I didn't know the store sold manga too. I wonder if this di diversification is a recent thing. Well, even in Germany most bookstores have manga. Well, at least in big cities. Amu giggles, sticking out her tongue. Fret not, O oh ye of little faith. I'm not a complete klutz like you. Huh. <sighs> I click my tongue, aha, uh -huh. the roof of... against the roof of my mouth. Oh. No, that's the other way around, you know, you do that from the bottom, uh, from the top to the bottom, not the other way around. I want to retort, but I, I know uh, it would be for nothing. I'm almost right. When it comes to discussions of my shortcomings... Oh, come on, these short people jokes. It's getting, it's ridiculous. <sighs> I'm almost always right. If I were bickering with Saki, maybe I would be able to defend myself. But Amu has known me for too long and has too much material to work with. She even knows about that one time in class with a cockroach. Just thinking about it makes me shudder. I thought I exercised that thought from my mind completely. Why is it coming back? I need to think of something else. Anything else. Anything to stop the embarrassment. What are you looking at anyway? This. Why, Achan, I thought you would have been able to guess. It's a strange new invention we call a book. I know that. 
Whenever anybody asks that question, they know that. Then why do people ask it? Because I want to know what book it is. Is that really such a crime? Well, it's nothing special. Just some manga. No big deal. The front cover looks awfully pink. He sounds so shocked. I... I'm not shocked, not really. I just didn't think you'd be interested in something with such a cute cover. I mean, she has pink hair, you know, to be fair. Amu giggles coughly, pressing her index finger against her lower lip. There's a lot about me you don't know, Achan. We women are mysterious creatures. And yet you seem to know everything about me. Well, of course. That's also part of our mystery. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> if you say so. I sigh, stretching the joints at my ale stretching the joints at my elbows clicking. While Amu flips through various volumes of manga, I have half a mind to tell her this is a bookstore, not a library, but I'm sure she'd laugh at me. I ponder. Didn't Saki ask me for a souvenir yesterday? I don't really know what kind of souvenir she's expecting though. It's not like I've gone to visit some famous tourist destination. This is only a tiny little town near a tiny little village. I suppose I could get her something to eat. Everybody likes chocolate, don't they? Even Saki, with her admiration for any and all things gothic, who only ever drinks tomato juice with her school lunch, ew, likes chocolate. There's nothing worse than tomato juice, for real. Chocolate isn't a very special gift, though. You can buy chocolate everywhere, which, to me at last, only attests to how incredible it is. But not everybody sees it that way. It doesn't have much heart. What would Saki like, though? Knowing her and her ghoulish tastes, she'd probably appreciate something suitable morbid, like a badger skull, or a taxidermy bat, whatever that is, but I don't know if there are any sp specialist stores around here where I'd be able to pick up such questionable items. Feeling a little like I'm cheating, but genuinely curious for an answer, I turn to look at Amu, who is still preoccupied with her manga. There's something strangely relaxing about watching Amu read. Although she claimed all girls are made of mysteries earlier, she's very open about her emotions most of the time. She must have reached a particularly dramatic twist in her story, because her eyes are strange, staringly wide, her eyebrows raised so high they have disappeared into her hairline. I smile, shaking my head. I can't help but be amused. Hey, Amu. Huh? Amu jumps at the sound of a name, her voice a little more pitchy than usual. I laugh. That manga must be pretty engrossing, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. It's not that bad, I suppose. I'm sorry. Did I startle you? No, not really. Jugasaki Amu, ah, oh, that's her last name, doesn't get startled by anything. I'd remain completely cool even in the event of the apocalypse. Oh. <laughs> anyway, what were you calling me for? Do you have a question? Yeah, um, actually I was wondering... I frown, rubbing one hand against the back of my head. This might sound kind of weird, but... Do you know what kind of gift a girl would like? A girl? Well... Well... A devious smile begins to form on Amu's face. Achan, you sly old dog, you. When were you planning to tell me this piece of breaking news, huh? Ow! I wince as Amu elbows me in the stomach, hard. Was she trying to hurt me? Or is that just my imagination? What are you talking about? I'm talking about you getting a girlfriend, of course. Oh, and here we go with more anime cliches. Girlfriend, yes, and in only two years too. I never would have believed it of you. I stare at Amu, my mouth falling open in a small O. Of course I should have known she would react like this. Because I'm so devilish handsome. And why does she have to be so loud about it? Because she is devilish handsome as well? I don't know, man. This is bullshit. It feels like everybody in the bookstore is staring at me. Sasaki isn't my girlfriend. She's just a friend. Jesus. Oh, her name is Saki. Is it? How cute. I don't know if cute would be the best, best way to describe her. Oh, oh, so how would you describe her? I don't know. Uh, maybe scary. So you like sadistic girls, huh? Of course you do. I should have known. You always enjoyed those punishment games we used to play when we were younger, didn't you? I didn't enjoy them. I didn't enjoy them at all. 
And anyway, Saki isn't my girlfriend. Okay, Achan. Whatever you say. I'm telling the truth. Amo smirks. I don't know if she really believes Saki is my girlfriend or not, but it's clear she's going to continue to frame it that way, just to unsettle me. Is this the revenge for making her jump earlier? No, this is basically... Have you watched any anime in your life before? Dear protagonist, I'm calling you asshole because the Japanese nickname for asshole is Achan, if you didn't know. So listen, asshole. Have you never watched an anime? Obviously, she is teasing you because she is liking you. And now she says, oh, you have a girlfriend, you have a girlfriend. And you're like, oh, no, I don't have a girlfriend. And you wonder all the time, why is she doing that? I don't understand that. In the end, of course, you maybe realize, oh, she liked me all the time. How could I be so blind? And I'm telling you all of this right now. And since there's 20% horror in this game, as Lisa's mentioned in the review I read, Probably in the end, one of the girls is going crazy and trying to stab you and some other girls. Uh. I don't know. I mean, there are cliches that are worthwhile. There are cliches that are, that are all the time around because they are cool. But this is weak. Really, this is weak. And I hate shitting on that right now, because, I mean, this is the third episode. I mean, this might become the most interesting story of all time, but I have the feeling it's the most, the biggest cliche of all time. I mean, she is obviously, she obviously want, wants him, and uh, he is going for Noel, and Noel has probably some kind of problem, and she will go all yandere crazy, or tsundere, or I always mix that up. Someone will go crazy and stuff. When uh, we don't end up with the right girl and stuff like that. Uh, but maybe I'll be surprised. If so, it seems a little harsh. Anyway, why are you so hung up on buying this girl friend present? I... She asked for one, that's all. I think she has been feeling a little down lately, so I thought it might cheer her up. Oh, how noble. So, do you have any ideas? About what a girl might like. Hmm. Well, it's a lot trickier than that. Girls are all different, you know. We like different things. I mean, men do as well. And I don't even know who the Saki person is. I'm probably the least qualified to tell you what she would like. Yeah. I thought it might have been a bit of a broad question. I sigh, rubbing my side. It's still H's or X. I don't know how you pronounce that. After being unceremoniously gouged by Elmo's elbow like that. I just thought, is there any gift in particular you'd like to receive? Anything you really want? Well now, then it would become a case of what I would like, rather than what Saki would like. And that isn't what you want to know, is it? You're right. I'm sorry for asking something so pointless. Hey now, it's not pointless. I'm sorry I can't be of further use, lover boy. Lover boy, hee hee hee. Damn that Amu, my feelings feel so hot. Okay, the scene is over now. Go through it, and stop lamenting and complaining all the time, you idiot. I'm talking to me, of course. A present for Saki, though. What would she want? I don't know if I would be able to find it in this bookstore. Saki does like to read, but she prefers the Victorian Gothic to cute manga. And I don't know which books she would, she has read and which one she hasn't. Huh. A present for Saki. A present for Saki. A present for Saki. Ah! No, I can't take this anymore. I'm too worked up. No, 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 no. I can't take that right now. God, so much cliche. Ugh. And then I started a five minute rant, which is really not worth your time. So I sum up what I said. First of all, it's not like I hate this game. This game is actually kind of fun. I, well, the one character I got to know Amu is, I mean, she's clichéish, but she's not uh, like I couldn't bear her or something. The only problem I have is there are so many clichés and that I have seen so many times, which always annoy me. You know, this, oh my god, she punched me harder, what does she, uh, why did she do that, huh? I'm a little dummy dummy. And, you know, all that good stuff. And, to be honest, I don't really need that. 
This game is for... You can... Okay, let me put it this way. You can get away with stuff like this in a comedy. If it is only comedy, that is completely okay. Because it is played for comedic purpose. But this is a romance. And in a romance, it's stupid. It's just stupid. We all know what is going on except the protagonist. And that is stupid. There are cliches that have a reason why they are still around. And there are cliches that I really hate. Maybe you can get away with that in a shoujo. I don't know. I don't read too many shoujos. I know a few. Uh, for, for example, if you want to read a good shoujo, um, what's the Japanese again, name again? Um, uh, I forgot. Uh, I, I'll leave uh, in the, the, the name in the description. That is a really good shoujo, for example. But, you know, uh, at least in a, in a game for boys, you cannot get away with shit like that, in my opinion. And I don't want to be sexist or anything. It's just, as mentioned, I have no idea about shoujo and how shoujo works. Anyway, thank you everybody so much for watching. Leave comments and stuff down below and tell me if you think it is as dumb as I do. Maybe you're just annoyed by me because I'm complaining all the time. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye bye.